New at 530, it's one of the most respected challenges in sailing, and Virginia Beach will be front and center. This May, a longtime tradition known as the World 1000 will return. So Philip Townsend is taking a look back at its origins. In the sailing world, it's like climbing Mount Everest, an event traced to a bet at a bar 47 years ago in Virginia Beach. One man set out to prove that it was possible to sail from Virginia Beach to Florida on a Hobie catamaran like this. Today, we call the grueling trip the Whirl 1000, named for the length of the trip, 1,000 miles, and the brothers who first bet on it, Chris and Michael Whirl. The event has a long history, the inaugural race in 1976. Four teams raced that year, and the only rule was to call the restaurant back in Virginia Beach once every 24 hours. It's now grown into a worldwide community of sailors and fans with decades of drama and excitement on the water. But the World 1000 took a long break at the turn of the century, and we wouldn't see it again for two decades. But the race is back in 2022. This May, 17 teams will take on the 12-day journey, now starting in Florida and finishing at the Oceanfront Inn at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Six of the teams are international, and one team will be representing Virginia Beach. That's Team Rudy's, led by Hall of Fame sailor Randy Smythe. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. The World 1000 kicks off May 9th in Hollywood, Florida. It's hard to predict the exact time for their arrival in Virginia Beach on the 22nd, but you can look for the orange flags on the beach.